Казахстан Республикасын президенты жанындағы орталы коммуникациялар қызметіне брифингіне қош келдіңіздер. Добрый день, уважаемые коллеги. Мы рады приветствовать вас на выездном брифинге службы центральной коммуникации при президенте Республики Казахстан, посвященному глобальному форуму электронного правительства. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I would like to welcome you at the visiting media briefing of the Central Communication Service for the Global Forum Electronic Government 2040. Uh, the panel session where the prospects of development of electronic government were discussed just uh, finished a few minutes ago. Today we uh, have here Timothy Minister for the Investment and Development of Kazakhstan as Kazakhstan Kaliyu. Uh, first Deputy Minister of Security and Public Administration of Korea Park Hyun Group, Managing uh, Director of the Infocom <laughs> Development Authority and Singapore uh, Jack Bin Paul, Executive Director of Logistic Joe's uh, Masternik and uh, Vice CEO for the E-Government Authority of the Kingdom uh, of Bahrain, Dr. Zakaria Ahmed Aykhaji. Uh, first of all, uh, we our briefing and uh, now our guests will express their opinion on the topic. Берегем утаруем мы вопросы в форуме, да, в эпизоде да, Казахстана, вопросы, да, в Азин Елимске, Алимин, Четвистовос, Елимин, Игавлин, Шупасмин, Айналас, Журген, Кушчинский, Шулус, Галанда, Газеры, Мишле, Элимин, Микесов, Смешле, Кельда, Арине, Уладна, Расанда, Лицонный, Кукумер, Кукумер, Жубасмин, Енда, Кога, Жапан, Датабар, Себебі бұл елекше шара. Бұл жерде өз жеттіскермен мақтыру үшін емес. Келесінші мақтылардан өзің үшін келеді. Екі күн бойы әртүрлі тақырыпта қанайтын сессиялар қызып сұқеттар ұластау болады. Ақылы өкіметін тенденс қалары мен проблемаларын өлкіндік қызметтердің өлкіндік және басқа да First of all, I would like to send my heartfelt congratulations to the government of Kazakhstan for the successful hosting of the third global e-government forum. Uh, Kazakhstan, uh, As you may well know, uh, Kazakhstan um, named the first country in the Central Asia region in the UN e-government survey, and Kazakhstan's e-government was the best e-government uh, among landlocked countries in the world. Since Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan showed rapid growth within a short period of, period of time, I believe that Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan's e-government will grow as the best e-government in the world soon enough. Taking this opportunity, I would like to say that the Korean government uh, will take this forum as an opportunity to strengthen the bilateral cooperation between Kazakhstan and Korea. Uh, 
As you well know, Korea ranked the first in the UN e-government survey for three consecutive times. 그동안 우리가 경험했던 많은 성공과 실패, 여러 가지 경험, 노하우, 이것을 세계 여러 나라와 공유하기 위해서 노력해왔고 앞으로도 그런 노력을 계속할 것입니다. We have worked very hard to share our know-how and experiences and our success and failures with the rest of the world in, ter in terms of e-government implementation, and we will continue to do so. Once again, congratulations on the successful hosting of the Global E-Government Forum, and I would like to uh, wish the, uh, the greatest success for e-government in Kazakhstan. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Joe Squasovic, please. Why is a little country? Achievements. Perhaps most of you know a little bit of you why because of the football, but we uh, have other achievements, other things that we can be proud of. Um, we have a political and social stability in the region, in Latin America, that uh, gave us the possibility to be the number one in all the indexes related to poverty, transparency, democracy, political rights, and voice and accountability. We have a lot of developments on ICT. We were, our country was the first to implement the project of one laptop per child the whole country. We are working on universal, we have universal access to internet to the homes with, a, with a, a homes and we have a plan now in place for FTTH paralytics uh, to the home that is already completed in the 70% of the houses. And we have been uh, very well considered in the government index. So 2014, we were the first country in Latin America and Caribbean on e-government, on e-participation, and on services. So, I think part of our success is due to being able to maintain a digital agenda for seven, eight years. And I think this is the value proposition that gets the things done in, in, uh, at this time. I want really to congratulate, to congratulate the host country uh, for this event. Really.
as per the decree which has been issued by His Majesty in 2006. And uh, uh, the e government of Bahrain is, is following the Supreme Committee, which is chaired by the Deputy Prime Minister, who is following the Supreme Committee. And that was in 2007 up to 2014. We have been constructing for e government. And uh, we conduct many tasks, such as uh, proposing public policy and uh, suitable legislations and decisions for the implementation of the e government program and necessary information to know and data programs providing services facilitating the communication between all the state organizations created electronic channels and uh, to provide e government services. In addition to that, is to provide technical and scientific support for the and other development. Uh, in this regard, I hope all the best for the report because it's not again seeing our good stand and are taking the right track. As Bahrain now, we are uh, 18, our rank as the government uh, United Nations survey worldwide, and we are Bahrain number one in the region in the Middle East. I can see that track is going forward for many countries like uh, Kazakhstan. Now, Kazakhstan is number one in the central in Asia. And uh, uh, taking a very ambitious program for the government. But I can see there is a good competition, a good competition, and all the top 20 countries as well the government uh, today, which is very nice for everyone, very good for everyone to empower uh, the project and initiatives to work better uh, services for our citizens. Once again, thank you very much for the wonderful organization, and I hope all the best. For the top of Kazakhstan and in the area of the government. Thank you very much. My dear colleagues, I ask for your questions. Please take your hands. You are being recorded on the microphone. Please begin with your question. Your question is for the minister.
правительства и о том, что планируете, уже объявили о переходе с его 2 на 3 -0. Что конкретно, да, что существенно даст это для вашего населения? Давайте мы сейчас с перемычками не могли разберутся, пока перейдем к следующему вопросу, но вопрос мы получим обязательно. Пожалуйста, все это вариант. So, Jonich, you're a leader in the United States of America. I have two questions, specific, and the third one will be for all of you, which is possible, of course. The first one is, uh, what this forum really needs for Kazakhstan's identity politics, and then as well for international involvement of your respective government. Think of all of this prestige forum, strongly supported among others by the United Nations as well. This is for the gentleman from Kazakhstan. And also, what is the main goal of further development of Kazakhstan government plans within these government issues? And the third, the last but not least, what would be the message of, to the world from this forum, knowing how the world has been so divided and then always within the soul of human interaction in the 21st century? Concretely, what is the solution proposal from Kazakhstan and also all of you in regards to making the world a better place for living using e government issues? за вопрос. Для нас а, этот форум очень важен. Мы а, понимаем, что такого рода форумы проводятся а, уже на ежегодной основе не только для того, чтобы а, конкретно рассказать, что делается в той или иной стране, но и очень важно для того, чтобы обменяться опытом. Сегодня а, убедиться, как Достижение в развитии электронных правительств каждой из наших стран. Так и имеются проблемы, которые мы должны обсуждать, которые очень необходимы. И площадка, которая предоставлена организацией для нас важна для того, чтобы мы все могли объединиться и общаться на благо развития если говорить о конкретно о Казахстане, то я хотел бы сказать то, что у нас мы сформировали в целом достаточно зрелую систему электронного правительства. Вы знаете, наверное, то, что мы сегодня называем позорным место среди всех стран по развитию электронного правительства, но понятно то, что мы должны продолжать развиваться. Понятно, что следующая стадия развития электронного правительства – это мобильное правительство, где мы очень активно работаем и мы хотим уже в этом году предоставить порядка 50 услуг самых востребованных на сегодня. Далее, в течение трех лет практически все услуги, которые сегодня нам оправдали правительство, имеются, предполагают перевести мобильное правительство. Причина очень простая, она а, всем понятна. Количество пользователей мобильных телефонов сегодня далеко в Казахстане по 170%. И не пользоваться такой большой, а, а, так бы не говорить, таким большим количеством телефонов, таким большим количеством а, возможностей для доступа к населению неправильно, и мы, конечно же, будем развивать. Что в следующем мы точно будем развивать это комната, это открытые, открытые данные. И сегодня мы уже сформировали целый ряд а, такого рода а, баз, которые уже а, можно а, получить население. Порядка 700 а, мы а, баз сегодня данных открыли. И а, понятно, будем в этом отношении а, продолжать развиваться. Смартдаун. Умное правительство – это а, тот проект, который тоже стоит на повестке. Некоторые элементы сегодня уже реализованы, и мы будем работать. Спасибо. Вам большое спасибо. Я прошу вас секундочку. Пожалуйста, отвечайте на вопрос. 24 кз. Абсолютно целью учащей темы, я бы сам и чугуанин, Uh, 
I'd like to answer your question about the government 3.0 paradigm that I explained in my speech. Uh, I would like to introduce some values that we pursue through government 3.0 paradigm. First, I would like to thank you for uh, paying interest in our new paradigm. Government 1.0 was government oriented um, paradigm that we provided all the services that government would like to provide, it, provide to the people. Uh, 소통하는 정부, 국민들의 참여와 어, 국민들과의 교류를 중시해서 어, 수요자를 수요자와 공급자를 동시에 고려하는 그런 정부라고 하셨습니다. And government 2.0 was a paradigm to encourage communication and participation from the public and to encourage exchanges between the government and people. So we would say that government 2.0 was also a demand-driven paradigm. 3.0 정부는 국민 각자 각자의 요구에 응답하는 그런 정부를 의미합니다. And government 3.0 is the government that responds to individual needs of the Korean public. 그러기 위해서는 정부가 가지고 있는 데이터를 공개하고 누구나 쓸수 있도록 정부를 개방하고 그리고 어, 소통하며 협업하는 것이 중시되고 있습니다. In order to do so, in, at the Korean government, we are trying to promote open data and open government, and also we are also encouraging communication and collaboration. Uh, 예를 들면, uh, 과거에는 uh, 2.0 정부에서는 국민의 세금을 면제받기 위해서는 자기가 세금 면제를 받기 위해 필요한 서류, 모든 서류를 정부 기관에 제출해야 했습니다. I would like to give you one example about our past when we adopted the government 2.0 in the past. When uh, someone needs to pay taxes, that person needs to go visit an office, visit an office, and file all the documents in person and pay taxes. 하지만 3.0 정부에서는 그 국민 개인이 면접에서 세금을 모두 데이터를 그 국민에게 제시하고. However, after we adopted the government 3.0 uh, paradigm, the, now Korean people can actually um, check uh, whether the files are correctly filed and everything. So even before government provides the document, the person actually can check whether everything is correctly done. And actually, uh, the, the Korean people do not need to submit actual uh, paper documents anymore. So by adopting government 3.0, we are trying to adopt a system where, where all the civil servants work together to meet the needs of a single person. I believe that the next uh, goal of the government should be a government that provides uh, customized services from the viewpoint of the people. Uh, 정부는, uh, 정부를, uh, it's been only two years since the Korean government adopted the new paradigm government 3.0 and next year we are going to uh, inject a large amount of budget in order to promote this new paradigm. If you would like to know more about our best, best practices and our experiences regarding Government Point 3.0, please visit our website. Thank you. Thank you very much. Уважаемые коллеги, к нам присоединился Ричард Кирби, это руководитель подразделения IT департамента по вопросам при ООН. 
Mr. Richard Kirby, uh, we're glad to see you here. Uh, he's the director of the IT department and, uh, of the United Nations. And uh, first of all, please uh, tell the few words about your opinion and uh, about uh, the session. Uh, thank you very much. I think one of the questions I would ask is what is the one of the goals of this uh, forum? And I think the main message that we want to Propose is that citizens should be the ones who are the center of economic development, right? which means that we believe that the greater uh, information, knowledge, services that citizens want should be the ones that are emphasized. I think for the most part, most government value a top down approach, which means they identify the governments, the, uh, sorry, the applications and systems that they feel are necessary. But the real uh, objective of the government is that the interaction between citizens and government, and not just providing information that you want, but more important for information that citizens want. And that's one of the main things that we want to make sure about. When it comes to open data, provide information that are valuable to citizens, and not just valuable to government. Uh, one, another issue that we're looking at in terms of this forum is that the exchange of knowledge between all the countries are important as well. There are a lot of uh, situations that exist in one country that in some other countries, and by networking together, developing partnerships, talking to each other, you're able to solve some problems that are very important for us. So to us, e government is, is a crucial aspect of development in general. We see it as a cross-cutting thing that focuses on development by nature and not just people. Thank you very much.
предоставлять электронные услуги лицензии и разрешения в электронном виде, но и будет давать те массивы информации, которые сегодня имеются для открытого обмена с населением. Это позволит, во-первых, а, знать о той деятельности, которая происходит, во-вторых, б, а, позволит а, сформировать некоторые, в том числе, да, интересные, уже проинтегрированные услуги от а, частного бизнеса для населения. Это, как а, видишь, будущее, мы видим для себя то, что а, открытое правительство, Умное правительство, есть такие конкретно понятия в развитии электронного правительства, open government, smart government. Это есть то будущее, которое нас все ждет. Вы сегодня уже услуги в электронном виде получаете, думаю, это будет продолжаться. Спасибо.
그 정보를 갖고 있는 그 정보 데이터베이스가 있습니다. 이것을 어, 개방을 했더니 그 음식점을 쉽게 찾을 수 있는 앱들이 많은 것들이 개발이 돼서 국민들이 편리하게 좋은 음식점을 찾을 수 있는 그런 서비스를 할수 있었습니다. For example, uh, the Korean government had this uh, data set for the restaurants all around the nation. And when we opened this data about restaurants, now uh, private sector businesses could, uh, adopted this data to develop new smartphone applications so that Korean people can find the restaurant they want easily and conveniently. 특히 우리 정부가 가지고 그 많은 빅데이터가 있습니다. 그래서 최근에 이 빅, 빅데이터를 정부의, 어, 정부가 하고 있는 빅데이터를 국민들을 개방하고 국민들은 이것을 반영해서 어, 새로운 일자를 창출할 수 있도록 관련 제도를 고치고 지원을 해가고 있습니다. And we also uh, established the institutional and legal frameworks in order to provide the big data to the Korean people. And using this big data, Korean people and businesses now can develop an open new businesses and create new jobs. 데이터 개방 양 어, 개방 양으로 그 말씀드리면 지난해 비해서 대략 8배 정도가 증가한 것으로 집계가 되겠습니다. 
Uh, we see the open data aspect as well, open government, how government is using that. Social media is also a very important part as well. Uh, and also look at the usage, and how people are using the services. So those are the three uh, indexes that we use to create the global e-government index. And again, it's for all 193 member states. All the member states are assessed. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear guests. Uh, so our time is up, and uh, please, I want to thank you all of you, and uh, thank you for our speaker for attending our brief. So thank you very much. <laughs>